My name is James Clark. I'm the food and beverage director for Mama Foo's Asian House. I do uh, a lot of our, our menu creation. I, I write our recipes with the help of a lot of the, we've got a lot of talented people in our kitchen. So the biggest challenge in creating a menu that is, is both a, a high standard of ingredient and, and really high quality food at the end, and yet also being able to produce it very quickly and produce it very consistently across 20 plus locations. It's a, it's a challenge to get those recipes right. It takes a, it takes a lot of, of planning and, and testing again and again and again until you finally get it right. So much trends towards Korean flavors and Thai flavors, Vietnamese flavors are I think kind of the next big thing that's coming up. And so we've really done our best to incorporate those flavors that are, are new and a little bit different. As, especially in the Austin area, there's a lot of very adventurous diners that want to try something different. It's really difficult to create those, those traditional flavors of, of Asia on a home western style sauté stove. There is a, there's a, a thing in, in Sejuan culture called wak hei, which is the breath of the wok, which is that sound that when you kick on that burner and all 65,000 BTUs start hitting that wok, there's just this roar, this wah behind the whole thing and it just it just lights up in your face and you know it's pretty exciting to cook on this type of cooking really lends itself to high-speed cooking the wok is designed for for really quick cooking it's not really as as much slow simmering kind of stews and things like that that you would get in other cuisines it's designed for quickness